All right, so here is my old computer sitting on the floor. As you probably know if you watch some of my Let's Play videos, I built a new computer, which is missing the graphics card, but... So I decided to uh, run benchmarks between this one and my new one, and... Well, hang on, I gotta... Oh, I'm gonna open up Cinebench in this one, because I am using all my monitors in my other one, and this, so I just had this plugged into my stupid 4x3 one. Uh, Cinebench R20 score. I'm actually planning on selling this computer to, uh, Lars, uh, I, I want to sell it to Lars, but he hasn't messaged me back or anything, so, if he hasn't messaged me, messaged me back by, uh, I guess August, he can't buy the computer, because I'm gonna sell it to someone else, but anyway, here it is, yeah, it's, well, this is the specs, Intel Core 2 Duo CPU, two cores at 3.16 gigahertz, and it's running Windows 10, and it's got a score at 359, I don't know how I even use this thing, I mean, I guess it's good, but, like, when you look at that, I mean, that's obviously super expensive. This computer, when I bought it, was $170. Yeah. I mean, the RAM is only going at 530-something 530, uh, 530 megahertz, which is weird, because I'm pretty sure it says 1300 on the RAM sticks, but I don't know. You never know. But, uh, hey, that's that. That's for the dual score, the dual core thing. All right, and here for my new computer. On Cinebench, uh, I accidentally closed it so this, the picture's not there, but it's not there. But this is the specs of the new computer. Uh, two cores, four threads. It actually, it's supposed to be four cores, but uh, uh, AMD Athlon. Four, yep, yeah, X44 quad core processor, 880K, which means it's overclockable actually, and I might overclock it, I don't know. Uh, that's the graphics card I use my old computer to get dual monitors. It uh, It's one gigabyte of video memory, so it kind of sucks. <laughs> I mean, it really sucks. I can't wait to get the 1050 Ti, but it's down here in 11th place. Wow, with the score 722, so it's double. Uh, a little over double, I'm pretty, yeah, a little over double of the 359, because that is like 718, and this is 722. And here is Geekbench score of, uh, this computer. This isn't the, uh, the, uh, the graphics server, the second test I could do is, this is just for the CPU. Sorry for shaking, I'm holding my phone with one hand. Uh... This is for, uh, wait, I'm, <laughs> I'm messing up my words. This is the single core score, which is, uh, 2,632, which is basically the same as, I'll put on screen now, my iPhone 6S, uh, which is, like, 2,500-something. But the multi-core score for the 6S is only 4,400-something, but on here, because there's four cores, it's 7,059, which is definitely a big jump from... This computer's multi-core uh, Geekbench score, which I gotta open the browser, which is definitely better than this computer's Geekbench score of 2031 for a single core, which is roughly the same, like a couple hundred off. If you count 600 as a couple hundred, and the multi-core score is 3013. So, yeah, definitely a significant improvement. Like this computer is less powerful than my iPhone 6S, which I'm holding in my hand, which I guess makes sense, because I'm, like, I'm recording at 4K. Well, that's, like, the camera. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Just ignore everything I'm saying right now. <laughs> uh, 8 gigs of DDR3, 532 megahertz. That's the speed of the RAM in this thing. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure it says 1300 megahertz on it. This one has memory speed at 800 megahertz. Huh. Alright, well that's the end of this video. I just wanted to, <laughs> to show the, uh, just do some uh, uh, benchmarks of my new computer. And I might do a graphics benchmark when I get my uh, graphics card, the 1050 Ti for this computer. And a graphics benchmark of that one. Because it's just using the Intel integrated graphics. I could put the graphics card that I used on it back in it. 
and then get benchmarks of that just to see. But, uh, yeah, that might be, like, a part two or something. I might not actually upload this video. No, I will up the, upload this video because I need to tell Lars that I'm trying to, to communicate with you to sell that computer to you for $120, which is a... Oh, God, I have to do math. $50 difference. And if Lars doesn't answer by August, I will go online and I will do a little auction on eBay. eBay. Maybe eBay. Or go to my Facebook account and go to Facebook Marketplace because I heard that's... I don't know. My mom's just saying to use Facebook Marketplace to sell stuff because you can do it in person and not... Whatever. It's just Craigslist but Facebook. Okay, bye. <laughs>